One of the reasons why people are locked into a particular platform is because they know where everything is. It's, it's like it's like being able to walk around in your house in the dark without needing the lights on because you know everything. Uh, those functions, features, that uh, workflow is called the UI or user interface. And you have UI in all the different platforms, whether it's video editing, whether it's graphic design, but you also have it, of course, in streaming. And StreamYard has been quietly shifting some things around in their UI. You've got the scenes window, of course, but then if you click on any of the menus on the right, it'll close that bar or open it. You can make your program window full screen, but they've also combined guest and present in the camera area. <laughs> These are some major shifts in their UI, but I haven't heard any announcements about them. And so in this video, I'm gonna take a look at those UI tweaks and will they help us or will they hurt us? Let's find out. So here I'm actually looking at the news um, page from StreamYard. And we can see, of course, Scenes is here. This is uh, this is one of their latest releases. Uh, AI clips. Uh, these are all things that I've covered in previous videos. Um, new media type unlocked image sharing. Right? They've they, they've covered fonts and brand tab, the uh, uh, cleaner brand experience. They now transcribe into different languages automatic intro outro videos i see all of this stuff here even dark mode and i guess dark mode is a ui tweak but i don't see anything about some of the items that i have seen shift and change inside the platform recently if you look at the the layout of the screen right now you notice that the program window is bigger that's because if any of these icons that you click on the right side menu right any of these icons expands that menu out but if you click it again it com collapses it which is great but never heard an announcement about that you click on banners it, it brings it out then you click on banners again it closes it up and i think one of the reasons for that is because you now have scenes on the left side and so if you have scenes open sometimes you may or may not need one of these menus open but you can have them both open at the same time. It just makes it considerably smaller. The other thing there is that this camera area under the bottom is another place where we spend a significant amount of time as users of the platform. And you'll find this even if you're brand new that you'll be using this area because you can add so many things there. And so having that, the ability to expand that out so that you have a much larger area down here gives you a little bit of a better feel for how you're using the platform. So those are some of the things that are there. Another thing that generally doesn't get talked about is the fact that you can actually make your program window full screen. I use this actually all the time. If I'm producing a show for somebody else, I wanna make sure that they can see what the full program window looks like. So this is a great function as well. The thing that caught my attention and is actually the reason why I decided to do this video is that they've combined the present button and the invite button here in the camera section cameras videos screen shares images they all populate here in this section prior to now you would simply you would have to go down here to present click on that and you could open up some different things or if you wanted to invite somebody you'd click on invite and you would simply send them that invitation or you would just copy the inv invite link from the top but either way the point being they've now added this here before it was just being able to add a camera. Cameras will, or, or guest cameras will pop up here. But now if we click it, you'll see a combined menu of both the invite and present here. I can add a slide or PDF. Here's, here's a P PDF presentation. 
I can add that in. I can add my camera in. You see how that looks. In addition to PDF, I can come back here again. I can go to extra camera and grab a, let's say my top down shot, right? So top down shots already there. Let's get the BTS shot. So now I've got my BTS shot here. So I've got two cameras. And if I go to the two camera layout, add my two cameras here, notice I'm doing all this. I haven't touched my banners. I haven't touched any of these menus. I haven't touched my scenes yet at least and I'm, I'm still able to function. Come back over here again. We can add a video file and that's gonna open up my, my desktop. So we'll add this clip and you'll see that pop up down there now. So we have that as a video. We can come in here, we can actually add images, right? We come in, we can add uh, different pictures and things that, or even graphics, uh, things that we've actually uh, been able to design. So. Here's a, here's a graphic, I'll get that graphic in there and you'll see that graphic pops up and I can add that to the stage and it'll take over. You can see what that looks like. Um, uh, we can add this to the stage. All right, there we go, that's, that's added to the stage. I can add the video to the stage. You can see that actually playing. Again, all of this functionality is here for us to be able to utilize uh, even without clicking any of the other buttons. And again, if you're on the free plan, a lot of these functionality is available to you without having to upgrade to any of the other plat uh, levels or subs subscription tiers. So we come in here again. One last one, of course, is going to be to share your screen. And uh, we, we just come in here to share a screen. You can share the entire screen. You can share a window. But of course, you can also share a Chrome tab. And so that. All right, so that has added my my website to the bottom here. I can add that to the stage. You see what that looks like. And again, all of this is functionality that I have. I can control and used to have to go down here to do, but I can actually come down up here to do that now. And then from there, you can bring your scenes window up, which it, uh, collapses on the left side, uh, or I should say expands on the left side. And then you have your assets essentially here in what was the camera area but essentially now it is basically a an additional assets area that we can utilize here inside StreamYard. so that changes how we would use the platform that changes what's possible that changes some of the navigation that changes uh your workflow essentially and I think there could be some huge benefits to how this um, has impact on 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 how we use the platform. This this could have huge benefits. It could make your workflow a little bit smoother. Could make it a little bit quicker. I think that uh, actually it's something that StreamYard should probably be talking about uh, because it does um, it does differentiate some things. And again, especially that 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 uh, detail about the free plan, a lot of these, these options that you have on the side, overlays and video clips and backgrounds, these are options that you will only have access to if you're on a paid plan. Whereas you can utilize most of these features. If you click on the presenter invite, you can use pretty much all of these features on the free plan as well. So, this is one of the ways, if you ask me, if you're learning StreamYard, you'd want to learn how to use these functions and features first. Uh, definitely want to know how to use your comments and your private chat. But your media assets and style are essentially things that you may or may not have access to on the free plan. So learning how to use these using your, your camera area, your assets area at the bottom, and then um, learning how to use them in conjunction with different layouts that you can set up maybe not necessarily scenes because scenes isn't a part of the free plan but you can utilize all those pieces and again it will change your workflow slightly possibly even making it quicker for you to be able to get certain things done and and i think that that's a major those are major major benefits um that these ui tweaks serve up to us as users of the platform. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about StreamYard is that they find their own way to implement functionality that other platforms sometimes already have 
Uh, so when they give it to you, they give it to you in a way that's uniquely StreamYard. And for some that may be a great, for others that may not be so good <laughs> because you've already gotten used to the UI or the way that it's done in a different platform. In that same regard, Scenes is one of the most recent functions and features that StreamYard has released. And in this video right here, I share with you five different scenes that you can set up inside StreamYard. Also, I share with you all the details around how to get going with this excellent and exciting new feature. Click right here to watch and I'll see you over there. Grace and peace, fam.